tell people to kind of do one thing a day or, you know, one step uh, that they can take to uh, kind of get on the right track, what would that one step be? Well, that one step would definitely be if um, you're having a shared family and uh, you have a TV ongoing through the day or, uh, you know, you watch TV news together then make an effort jointly as a family to decide only a couple of times a day that the news will run at home. Mm. So one of the feedback I get from not just my clients, but my immediate ecosystem is as well is that people keep the news on from the morning and it goes on till evening. Right. And sometimes it's just constantly in the background. This right. is something I saw when the pandemic started. It's again, um, something I'm hearing about. So one right. of the things uh, you can do is monitor that. Mm. Uh, please remember that when it comes to news channels, it's extremely important that the content that they give out is uh, visually disturbing. Mm. So that is something you're not going to find so much when you're scrolling through, uh, you know, digital news or on the newspaper. Right. Uh, your brain tends to soak in and absorb images and that impacts mood and sleep much more than other things. Right. Even, even with children, when we look at their, uh, uh, when they look at how they are impacted by critical events, they're usually impacted by the images they remember of those events, typically mm. through consuming news in a right. secondary manner. Right. Children as toddlers as young as one and two get impacted. Mm. So we have to be careful about uh, television. And I'd say that's the first thing. Please section out the time that you spend on TV news.